Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be another declutter and organization video. Kind of a part two video since in my last or my first declutter video that I uploaded on my channel, I organized all of my makeup and I set up um, my makeup in my little makeup bins over here if you are able to see that. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link that down in the description box, but this is kind of a part two because we are in the same bathroom and because we are in the bathroom, there is a little bit of an echo, so I apologize about that. But anyways, we are in the same bathroom and what I wanted to organize in here are what you're looking at right now. These two cabinets right here. This is kind of like my junk drawer or junk uh, cabinets. I just kind of throw all of my beauty things in there and it's not very organized. It's very messy. So I definitely wanted to go through everything that's in these cabinets, declutter them, and then organize them to make it look really nice. So yeah, with all that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So if you would like to see this declutter and organization of these bathroom cabinets, then just keep on watching. All right. So first I'm just going to go ahead and open these up for you guys. And this is everything that I have under these cabinets right now. I have some makeup stuff, some beauty things, hygiene, and probably a bunch of other stuff that I can't even see right now under all of the piles of everything. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to start pulling everything out of here and putting them into piles, like putting all of my makeup supplies together, all of my hair care supplies, skin care, um, and then also just going through and getting rid of things that I don't need, that are old, or I just don't use very often. Alrighty, so I just zoomed you guys in a little bit, and I think I'll just start with the stuff that's in the front. So right here we have a mirror, obviously. In this little bag, I have some of my jewelry. And in this bag, I have all of my skincare products, which I will be probably opening up these bags um, and going through everything that I have inside of them. Here is my makeup bag, which has nothing in it since I organized all my makeup and I put them all in my makeup bins. And then all right here, this is all of my makeup that I am collecting. No longer using because if you did watch my um, makeup declutter and organization video, all of this makeup is expired. I went through all of my makeup and got rid of all of the expired makeup that I had, which was a ton. So again, if you want to see um, a good declutter video, check that video out in the description box. But yeah, this is all the makeup that even though it's expired and I'm not really going to be using anymore, um, I really wanted to keep it for collection purposes. Obviously, all this stuff back here is all of my like feminine products. All right, and then this stuff right here are like face masks and uh, a foot mask and also a hand mask. This right here I got for Christmas and it's a Burt Bees uh, Manny Petty uh, kit thing. This right here is my Kim Kardashian perfume, which I'm almost out of the perfume, perfume that I'm currently using. So this will be the next one that I will be using. Right here is my little Evil Queen Snow White makeup mirror, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. And then here is just a bunch of like, <laughs> just crap just thrown in here that just really don't have a good place to go. So this is the stuff that was mainly driving me nuts. So first two things that I feel like I definitely can get rid of are these two things right here. These are just like directions to like a curling wand, like an automatic curling wand that I have and I don't really think I need to keep that. And then this is just a little traveler um, a straightener. But I already have a straightener that like comes in like a traveling case. So if I needed to travel, um, the other straightener that I have would be easy to pack up. So I really don't need this and I haven't used it in a very long time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of those. This right here is a little uh, like face brush thing that I have. I'm not currently using this mainly because I don't have any of the heads to go on here, but I just bought uh, just like a cheap one from Walmart. And that's what this little face brush uh, top is too, is from the brush from Walmart, which I don't even know, can these like fit? Oh my God, I think they can. Oh no, it comes right off. So yeah, I don't know if I want to like keep this because I really do like this, but I also have my other one that I'm using. So I don't really know. This is going to kind of go in the maybe pile. This one I'll definitely keep though. This stuff right here are all like perfumes and body mists, which I also got from for Christmas. So I'll definitely be keeping those. 
Um, I have some hand sanitizers in here, which are always great to keep, so I'll be keeping those. Oh, this I will also definitely be keeping. This is the cologne that my dad wore all the time. I don't know the exact name of it. Oh, it's just Polo Black by Ralph Lauren, or Ralph Lauren, excuse me. So yeah, definitely keeping this. All right, and then we have some various little tubey thingies. We have some Neosporin and A&D ointment and then some hydrocortisone cream. I don't really use these, but I know Luke does, so maybe I'll just like wait for him to get home to see if he wants to keep any of these or maybe i'll move them into our other bathroom because that's kind of where like all of our other um you know cream type products are so i think these i'll just put in the other bathroom oh this right here is just some like i don't know hair hair taffy crap whatever <laughs> that luke uses and this is just an extra soap which we keep all of our extras under the kitchen sink so i think i'll put this um with the rest of the soaps i have a couple of different clips which are always nice to have i have this tresemme heat protectant spray which i think i might get rid of this because i just ordered a new hair protectant spray that I am going to be trying out from the hair company that that I work for. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this. All right, we have four more things under here. This is um, a little thing that you put like on the back of your bra straps, like it kind of hides them. I'm awful at explaining things. I apologize. But like, yeah, if you're kind of wearing like a certain tank top where like criss crisscrosses in the back or like meets in the back, but you don't want your bra strap showing, you can like put your bra straps like in here and it like kind of like put keeps them together and hides them, which I keep this in a different spot. So I don't know why it's just like roaming free in here. So I'm going to put this in the spot that I usually keep those. This is just a little mirror. It is a Peter Pan mirror that I got from Hot Topic. I used to keep this in my purse, but my friend Shannon got me a new or another mirror as a bridesmaid gift. So I've been using that mirror instead of this one. And I love this mirror. Like I really don't want to get rid of it, but I don't really know like what to do with it or where to keep it. So maybe this will just go in the maybe pile because I don't really know what I want to do with this. All right, also I have some hair extension replacement tape. I don't really have plans to get hair extensions anytime soon, but you know, if I ever do want to, um, I have the tape. The replacement tape to put on them so i think just for safe keepings i'm just gonna go ahead and keep these and put them with the rest of my hair products and this right here which is the last thing that we have under here this is from young living and it's a stress away essential oil you just like roll it on which honestly i might put this in the maybe pile as well or maybe i'll keep it for luke i think he uses this more than i do all right so we have everything out of here but i'm also thinking another thing that i want to kind of go through and organize and get some of the stuff to fit under here is everything that I keep in this little bath caddy right here. I used to, or I use this mainly because I was always traveling between like my mom's house, my dad's house, my sister's house, and Luke's house, but I'm not really, you know, traveling between houses as much anymore, so I don't really need to keep everything kept in this caddy. And I, for the longest time, I've just been having this sit out on our bathroom floor because I've had nowhere else to put it. And I just like don't really like that look. So I think what I want to do is I want to empty this out and put everything, including the bag. And then I can also maybe put my makeup bag in here um, and put all of this under the sink if at all possible. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this stuff real quick. Oh, of course I have my makeup brushes, which we'll definitely be keeping. I also have some makeup remover wipes and my perfume or body mist body spray that I'm currently using. This is like really old. It takes me forever to go through things. I don't know why, but this is from Bath and Body Works. This is their Be Joyful. I literally got this for Christmas like oh my gosh, like four years ago, maybe. But there's still a little bit in there. So I think maybe I'll just set this out with my makeup stuff. All right, and then I have all of my hair heat tools and other hair products. So this is the straightener that I was talking about, and this is the little travel case that it comes in. I also have two curling wands. This one I got from Kmart a long time ago, and this one I got from Walmart a long time ago. This one is so disgusting. Like, I really do need to get rid of this, but, but I think until I get a new uh, curling wand that's, like, similar to this size, maybe a little bit bigger, but smaller, 
than this one. Um, I think I'll keep this, but it definitely needs to be gotten rid of. Like, I don't know if you can see the handle, but like it's like sticky and I don't know if it's just like a buildup of like hair products or hairspray over the years of using this, but like, I don't know. It's like so disgusting and like so sticky. Like it really needs to be gotten rid of, but um, yeah, until I get a curling wand that's similar to this size, then I'll just keep it for now. And then of course I like this curling wand if I want more of like those beachy waves or beachy curls. And here is the hairspray that I'm currently using. See, I also have some other products like this blowout cream and then this Rejuva Beads product, which is a split end mender. If you have questions about any of these products, this is the company that I work for. It's a luxury hair care company. All of these products are amazing. They not only sell like styling products like these products, but they sell like shampoos, conditioners, hair masks, oils. Recently just came out with like pet products so pet shampoos anything you can think of and they serve for any hair type or hair goals like if you want longer hair or less damage or if you want more volume more hydration anything you can think of we have products for so if you have any questions about that please make sure to comment down below or you can follow me on instagram and dm me on there that's probably the best way to get a hold of me i also have some dry shampoo i really love the dry shampoo from the luxury hair care company that i work for but i recently ran out of it so I just bought this or keep the Batiste one as a backup brushes in here I have like a little rat tooth comb my regular wet brush and then this little comb which I can probably get rid of this little comb I don't really use it that often and then I also have this little thing which obviously is a brush that people commonly use to like hair dye their hair but I use this for toning I'll just like put my uh, purple shampoo on a plate or in a bowl or something and then I'll like dip this in there and paint it on my hair if you have seen or maybe if you haven't seen my tone how I tone my hair at home I show you exactly how I tone my hair at home so if you haven't seen that video and you're interested in watching that I will also link that down in the description box all right I also have some body lotion in here which can go in the other bathroom with the rest of my lotions and then I have two little baggies. In this little baggie, I have all of my little rubber bands that I use for my hair. And then in this bag, I have my bigger hair ties. I have some like hair bows and bobby pins and stuff like that. And then I also have a razor in here, which I <laughs> used for traveling, which probably can be gotten rid of. All right, and then I have another clip that's just on the... Um, Thing. Oh my gosh, I cannot think today. Like these things you use to like carry it, the handles, whatever. Ugh, bear with me, you guys. <laughs> all right, and then the last things that I have in here are just all of my hair care products. So I have my face wash. This is the new face brush that I got at Walmart. And then this is the hair, or not the hair mask, the face mask that I am currently using. And then I just have this little like acne cream, uh, which I feel like I've had this for a while. I don't know, like, do things, oh, okay, expires. Oh, this is definitely expired. What the heck? This is, ex it expired in April of 2017. Like, I swear my mom got this for me, like, a year ago. Well, since this is expired, we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And yeah, that's everything that I have in my little bath caddy. So I'm just gonna kind of fold this up. I'm feeling, honestly, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed right now because I just really don't know how I want to organize everything. Okay, so I was just sitting here thinking to myself and I think what I'm gonna do, um, in our other bathroom, we have a large closet, kind of like looks like a pantry, like it's a bigger closet and it has a few different shelves. So since that closet has a ton more room and all I have in this bathroom is just this little area under the sink, I think I'm going to put a lot of my stuff in the other bathroom which I do think that will be my next declutter and organization video. So definitely stay tuned for that. But yeah, I definitely think for right now I'm going to put a lot of the things in that bathroom and then keep this area under the sink more of like my makeup products, like my makeup collection, um, my hair products that I use on a daily basis, my hair tools, uh, my hair, my skincare things. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then other stuff like lotions and then this little like mani-pedi kit and like my pads and tampons. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put in the other bathroom. Oh, and I also think I'm going to put my bath caddy and my other makeup bag in the other bathroom as well. And then I will tackle that closet another day. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of separate everything out. Then I will be right back. 
Okay, so I have everything separated out and I put everything else in the other bathroom. And then this is everything that is gonna be going under the sink. Obviously, it's not gonna be left like this. I just put everything in here so you guys could see a little bit better. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through some of my little baggies. So for example, my little bag is a hair products. I'm gonna go through those just to go through and see if there's any like, you know, broken looking hair ties or messed up looking bobby pins, get rid of those. And then I also got like little new baggies to put them in. No like little sandwich baggies aren't like the most like attractive thing to look at, but I just feel like that works the best. And I really don't lose them that much by keeping them in little baggies. So I'm just gonna keep them like that. And then I'm also gonna go through with this little baggie. This is all like my hair or not hair. I don't know why I keep wanting to say hair care. All of my skincare products, I'm pretty sure a majority of the stuff in here I'm going to be keeping, but I just want to go through it just in case. And then I think that's the only baggies I, I have to go through. And then we can just work on organizing under here and making everything look good. So I did my two bags of hair ties and other stuff like that. I apologize, you couldn't see a lot of it on the screen. I just thought it was a lot easier to like do everything like down here. So yes, now let's get started going through all of my skincare products. So I'm just gonna start taking things out. So the first thing I see is my makeup remover from Avon, which I definitely will be keeping. I use that all the time to obviously take my makeup off. Next thing is this right here. This is the Olay 7-in-1 Anti-Aging Eye Transforming Cream, which I will be keeping. These three products right here I use all the time, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping all of these. If you haven't seen my nighttime routine, I will also link that down in the description box. Um, in that nighttime routine, I use a lot of these products and talk about them, how I use them and all that sort of stuff. So I have my moisturizer, I have my little face and hair oil, literally a miracle oil, and then I have my lash serum. Next, I have my lip scrub from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now, I did see that this is expired, but I think I am going to break the rules a little bit and keep this. I mean, I don't know. I guess I really don't use it that often, but I guess a part of me is it's not like a huge deal that it's expired. So I think I maybe I'll keep this for now and then I'll see how I feel about it later. Um, I have two like little carrying travel cases, which I mean would be really nice to like put some moisturizers in, but I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these. Oh, I thought I was out of this. This right here is like a little face wash. I don't, I thought this was like gone. So I guess I'll definitely keep this. And then I have these two things right here. One of them is a retinol cream and the other one is a pigment correcting serum. So I think for now, maybe I will just keep these. I don't really use them that often though. Maybe I shouldn't keep them. You know what? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of these because I really don't use them that often. All right, and then the last thing I have in here, I have this little thing. And then it also has like a little cord plug-in thingy. This thing is like a mister. My mom gave this to me. And like, you're supposed to like put like water up here and then when you like slide this down, it's supposed to like spray out of here. She gave this to me because like, she used it all the time for like hot flashes and things like that. And I was kind of having similar symptoms. I talked about this a long time ago in one of my vlogs. Long story short, I was just having a lot of weird symptoms which included hot flashes. I went to the doctor, nothing was wrong. I don't really know if I believe that. I mean, I had a bunch of blood work done, but supposedly there's nothing wrong with me. My hormones are fine, my thyroid's fine, all that good stuff. But yeah, every once in a while, I still get like hot flashes and you know, like symptoms that you would consider are like menopause <laughs> type symptoms. But anyways, yeah, so that's why she gave this to me. And I honestly don't use this that much, so I don't, I might just end up getting rid of this just because I really never use it. She never used it. That's why she gave it to me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this. That is everything that I have in my little makeup case. So now that I have everything out of there, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put this bag with the rest of my, you know, like my makeup bag and my uh, bathroom caddy in the other bathroom. This particular bag, I am just going to keep all of my jewelry in here. A majority of my jewelry is still at my mom's house. I did like a whole collection. If you haven't seen that video, I will link that down in the description box. But I have like this jewelry armor that my mom gave me and all
all my jewelry is in there and that's where this jewelry goes but yeah that armor is still at my mom's and this is just a bag of jewelry that I wear the most often so just so I don't lose anything like small like earrings and things like that I'm just gonna keep all my jewelry in this bag and keep this bag under here so yeah I think that's everything that I wanted to go through so now it's just time to organize everything and make it look really nice so I'll probably I'll try to make this quick because my camera's dying I will admit I am not totally happy with how this looks that was definitely a process I was surprised I didn't expect it to be that difficult to find um a layout that I'm happy with I mean I'm trying to like keep things like separate so like hair stuff over here and like more makeup and skincare stuff over here but yeah, I'm just not really happy with it in any way that I lay things. I'm just, I'm just not really happy with it. So I think this is definitely going to be a work in progress, but at least I can say that it does look a lot better than it did before we started decluttering and organizing everything. So yes, even though I'm not completely happy with this, I'm going to just keep everything how it is now. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And again, if you haven't already seen the videos that I have talked about or mentioned in this video, go down in the description box, check out those videos, as well as check out my social media accounts. All of that is linked in the description box down below. And yeah, with all that being said and done, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.